Hey everyone, I'm Grattles, and I recently did a video on my top 10 mods that I like to use in City Skylines. And in that video, I asked if anybody would like to see more about a specific mod, and I got a comment that asked for the Network Multi-Tool. So today I'm gonna go through each of the things that the Network Multi-Tool can do, and I hope this helps you out. So the first thing, I have is I have the unified UI and my network multi tool is in here but it doesn't always have to be that way if you were to click roads my network multi tool is down here as well so if you don't have the unified UI no worries it's still there so the first tool within the network multi tool is the add nodes and remove nodes so as you can see right here, I have left Anarchy on and I have these pillars in the middle of the road. So if I were to go here, I can simply click on there and remove these nodes just like that. But now this bridge looks a little weird without having pillars on either side. So what we're going to do is go into the add node and we're going to add a node on either side. So this bridge now has supports where we want them. So these two tools are super handy when you want to add and remove nodes. So the next two tools in this panel are union nodes and split nodes. So what union nodes does is you can click on a node and then click on another and it'll unite them. So these nodes have to be in close proximity to join because if they're too far away as you can see, they will not join. So the next one is split nodes. If we were to click on here, we're going to click the node, the road, and then figure out where we'd like to move this. So maybe I'd like to move it closer to this right here, and I can do that. Now I want to unite or union nodes here and here. So that's how you would use your union nodes and your split nodes. So the next two tools are intersect segments mode or invert segment mode. So how you would use intersect segments, if you left anarchy on and you have this intersecting here, you would click on it and then you would click on the other one. But because there's a node underneath, you're going to have to go back and just remove that node underneath. Once you've removed that node, then you can go back and you can connect this road to this road and it makes a perfect connection. The next is invert segment mode. So if we were to click invert segment mode and then we would click on a road, it inverts the roads. So the next two tools we have are set slope mode and arrange at line mode. So set slope mode. So let's go ahead and we'll click on this and we want to slope it to here. So as you can see, you still have to do any intersection pieces. So anywhere there's an intersection, you have to click on that and then go to the edge. Click enter and you have a slope. So it makes the best slope it possibly can. Arrange at line mode. So what you would do here is, say I wanted to come from here to here. It will make a much better connection than this. If you don't like that, let's try this to this one. It gives you a nice curve here. So you can just click on lines to see what would be the best way to connect here to here makes a nice curve so you could just add that and if you click on it enter it gets rid of all the work you did and makes a nice curve so that's how you use that so next we have the arrange at a circle mode and the create a loop mode so the arrange the circle say you have a setup like this you would click every node that connects like this on a corner and it would make a perfect circle just like that for you. So that's a super handy tool to have. The next one is create a loop. 
We're going to come over here and say you have done a highway and you want to connect the road underneath to the highway above. What you would do is create a loop. You would click on here and click on here and it would set up a perfect loop and it would also give a nice slope. So that's how you create a loop. So the next two tools we have is create connection mode and create curb mode. So let's go into create connection. Let's come over to here. So if we had to click here and here, it gives us a nice curve here, but it also gives us a whole connection. So if we were to do that, it's perfect. Next, if we go into curve mode, we connect here to here, we get that. If we were to go from here to here, it won't do it because it's not a curve. It is this S shape one, which we did the first time. So we're gonna go here to here and you can actually take a look. It's actually a perfect connection going around. So this is a super handy tool when you wanna just get nice curves. So the last two tools that we get with the network multi-tool is the create parallels and the unlock. So to create a parallel, what you'd need to do is start from one segment to the other and hit the plus and minus to separate it. Now, if you want it to go in the opposite direction, you just click from the opposite direction. I simply just redraw it from left to right or right to left and enter. And there you have it. So the last one, unlock segment mode. Here we'd come in, we would click on the tool and you get these buildings that have roads attached already. You're gonna click on it to unlock these roads in here. Now, no matter what road you pick, you can now upgrade this road to whatever road you would like. There you have it. So that is an amazing tool that lets you customize all your roads that are connected to buildings. So that's going to conclude today's episode on the network multi-tool. I hope you found it helpful. If there's anything you don't understand, you can leave me a comment below. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, if there's any other mods that you would like me to go into detail with, leave it in the comments below. I have no problem making these short little tutorials and I hope you like them and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.